This is the elbow of a 16-year-old boy who plays a lot of golf and is previous a baseball pitcher for his high school team. He has a several month long history of pain, clicking, and locking in the back of his elbow, which happen on a daily basis and make even golf a very difficult thing to do. X-rays in the office show this lesion of the bone called an OCD lesion, also uh, known as an osteochondritis desiccans lesion. MRI was done at this point to uh, evaluate for loose bodies, and they do prove that there are loose bodies coming from this OCD lesion in the front of the capitellum. Arthroscopy is performed at this point because at this advanced stage of disease, it's very unlikely that conservative measures will fix this problem. You can see the loose body, and it's being removed by this metallic instrument, a grasper. It comes out without any difficulty, and it allows better vision of the joint, as well as resolving a portion of the patient's uh, problem. You can see the radial head below and the capitellum above. That circular uh, defect in the cartilage directly ahead is the OCD lesion itself. You can see that it looks to be somewhat unstable as the elbow is moved around. And a probe is brought into the joint to test it to see how stable or unstable it is. And you can see that it's quite unstable. These pieces are really just barely hanging on. They have a great potential for separating and then becoming loose bodies themselves. At this point, a grasper is brought in to remove these so that they do not separate and float around his joint. The problem with these uh, pieces of cartilage is that they have very thin underlying bone, very poor blood supply, and therefore very poor healing potential. Some people do advocate fixing these, but uh, it's uh, somewhat unpredictable uh, given the poor healing potential of these lesions. You can see once again the uh, shaver brought into the joint now and it's used to clear away all the fibrinous uh, cartilage edges so that the lesion is stable. And you see the lack of cartilage over this bare bone uh, at the OCD lesion. So this is addressed at this point with a, something called microfracture. You see that being done here where a metal pick is brought into the joint to punch small holes into the bone at the base of the lesion. These holes are vascular channels they allow the inflow of blood and uh, bone marrow stem cells to regenerate new cartilage to resurface and cover this bare bone. That process typically takes about four to six months. When the tourniquet is let down, you can see blood coming in through these channels indicating excellent blood supply and good potential for healing this lesion. The joint is then inspected thoroughly and you can see the medial gutter here and the lateral gutter will also be inspected. These are common sites where loose bodies can hide. Some of the anatomy is demonstrated here. The capitellum is up above, the radial head is to the right, and the proximal ulna is down below. And this is just a different angle of uh, looking at this OCD lesion uh, that we were looking at before. Uh, you can see the lesion there. It is a contained lesion, meaning that it's smaller than the radial head, and therefore meaning that the radial head will not fall into it when the elbow is moved around. And that's very important, obviously, to prevent uh, clicking and locking symptoms. A stability exam is performed while we're back here, and we confirm that the joint is tight and stable even under stress, uh, because sometimes an unstable elbow can feel like a clicking and locking elbow. This is the front half of the joint, which is inspected for loose bodies. You can see the capitellum to the right and the radial head to the left. The shaver is used to clear out all of the synovium, which is all of that red friable tissue to the left to, uh, to allow a thorough inspection. Once that's done, you can see once again the OCD lesion, and you can see it down below. As the elbow is moved around, you can see that, again, the radial head does not fall into that hole, and uh, that uh, there should be good potential for that to heal. At this point, the procedure is complete. Uh, the patient can move their elbow the day after the surgery and shower and wash their arm like a normal person after a couple of days. And uh, sutures are removed in a week. This is an x-ray of an OCD lesion uh, treated with uh, arthroscopy and microfracture, which then went on to completely heal after six months. Well, that's it for now. I'm Nick Leung. Thank you for your interest. And join us at our website for more information.